Even though in most cases the main event is what people attend events for, sometimes the audience reactions can be just as entertaining. At the 2021 VMAs, Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow put on a memorable performance that even included a marching band, and well, some celebrities were left speechless, and others like Fat Joe and his friend were completely asleep. Back in 2019 when Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello released a single named Senorita, and shortly after announced that they were dating, they put a performance at the VMAs that left the audience hanging, and we got to see Nick Jonas, Joe Jonas, BB Rexa, and Taylor Swift in complete disbelief. When Saoirse Ronan won Best Actress in Comedy at the 2018 Golden Globes, some people noticed that Timothy Chalamet was a little zoned out during her speech. And, and actually everyone in this room, so thank you so much for this. Thank you. When Rihanna was performing opening medley, she was putting a great performance, but the fellow celebrities didn't look too excited. And that's when the cameras briefly caught Kanye West desperately trying to get them to stand up. It's no secret that Eminem and Christina Aguilera had some beef, with both having included some scathing lyrics aimed at each other during some of their songs. So when Christina Aguilera publicly dissed Eminem while she was hosting and he was in the audience, the cameras immediately pointed at him, and his reaction was hilarious. Meeting Janet Jackson, Eminem. Anyway. Well, the one thing that would when dating a singer, there's always the possibility that they could end up writing a song about you in the future. Tracy Morgan made a warning about this during his opening speech, and the cameraman directly pointed to Taylor Swift. Do not date these women. They would write a song about your ass. <laughs> if you forget to open up the car door. At the 2016 VMAs, Miley Cyrus put on a performance that at the time was something completely new for mainstream media, and Drake was not feeling it. Drake wasn't the only funny reaction during the show, with the Smith family being in utter shock. Having the same first name as another award nominee can cause a lot of disappointment. At the 66 Grammys, James Earl Jones didn't have his hopes up to win the Tony that year, so when he heard James, he was a bit stunned at first. He goes to James Corden, one man to governor. And well, this is not the only time there's been a similar short moment of confusion. At the Grammys, when Taylor Swift thought she won Best Album when she heard the announcement. Random access memories, death bombs. <laughs> Feature guard. At the 2017 Billboard Music Awards, Drake won Best Album, and him being Drake couldn't miss the opportunity to shoot his shot with Vanessa Hudgens, which made Nicki Minaj a little upset. So tonight, I want to say that Vanessa Hudgens, you look incredible tonight. I want to say, I want to say. Back in 2006, no one expected Carrie Underwood to win the award at the CMAs for Female Vocalist of the Year, and well, Faith Hill was visibly shocked. Carrie Underwood! Back in December 2016, Camilla Cabello decided to leave Fifth Harmony to pursue solo endeavors, and the band kinda shaded Camilla publicly multiple times, and there was a lot of drama going on. So when Tiffany Haddish poked fun at Fifth Harmony since they were not invited to the VMAs but Camilla was, she was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so those of you watching at home, hi Fifth Harmony. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Apparently Pharrell Williams was a little surprised about how much energy Taylor Swift had. A week after Shawn Mendes partnered with Calvin Klein for an underwear campaign, he had to attend an unrelated event, and when the host saw Shawn Mendes, he sat down next to him and wanted to talk about the campaign. And well, you can tell he was a little embarrassed. There it is, Shawn. I mean, all these years trying to break into your iCloud and then you just release it for free. How does it feel to have broken the internet? Uh, I knew this was going to happen. This is During the 2022 Oscars, a completely unexpected moment occurred when Will Smith stood up and walked on stage to slap Chris Rock after he made a joke about his wife's hair loss. And even though there were doubts if it was staged, Will Smith's acceptance speech showed him in tears and apologized to the Academy for what happened. And well, if that was not enough evidence, there's also the reaction of the celebrities, which show complete disbelief in what transcribed in front of them. Luckily for him, Chris Rock didn't file any charges despite not looking too happy about what happened. 
And even though some celebrities praised Will, comedians all around the world rallied to Chris Rock's defense with Jim Carrey even saying he should sue Will Smith for $200 million, and that his actions casted a shadow over everyone's shining moment that they worked hard for. It was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing. And if anyone's wondering how Chris Rock was able to make a joke like that, he revealed in an interview after everything went down that the Academy doesn't get to see his jokes. They just make a list of what he's not allowed to say, and then he takes it from there. And then they give me a list of what I can't say. And then, after that, I start writing jokes around it. And then I never show them the jokes. Okay. Because if I show them the jokes, then they'll go, you can't say that either. Yeah. <laughs> Back when Ariana Grande started transitioning more from Nickelodeon to a full-on pop star, she was performing at the iHeartRadio Awards, and Rihanna sort of laughed at the performance, since it was something so different from Ariana at the time. It's no secret that Jeff Bezos has a lot of money, so he's probably not used to getting roasted. But when Chris Rock saw Jeff Bezos sitting among the actors at the Oscars, he couldn't help but to throw a couple jokes his way. Great actor. <laughs> Bezos is so rich, he got divorced, and he's still the richest man in the world. <laughs> he saw Marriage Story and thought it was a comedy. <laughs> okay, we don't know if Billie Eilish was showing shade at the presenters, or simply didn't get why the cameras were pointing at her. After Kim Kardashian called Taylor Swift a snake, she got a lot of negative comments coming from Kim's fans. And at the VMAs while performing, she decided to joke about it, and Ariana Grande and JLo's reaction were hilarious. No, no. One second. I don't care if it's the VMAs. I'm not jumping off of there. There's all kinds of people getting bitten by snakes. Dangerous. After Billie Eilish pulled off two big wins at the Grammys, she went on stage and said that Ariana Grande's Thank You Next deserved the Record of the Year award. Thank You Next. I think it deserves, like, more than anything in the world. I love you so much. Um... For most artists, winning a VMA or an Emmy can be a huge honor, and they anxiously wait in the audience hoping their names are going to be called on stage. After Kanye West lost five VMA nominations in 2007, he had a little bit of a meltdown. Five nominations! I lost the Black Eyed Peas last year, man. I'm never coming to MTV. Y'all find Britney. Get Britney. After Ellen explained that what gives her enjoyment is to make other people happy, she decided to leave the audience with a shirtless picture of Chris Hemsworth at the People's Choice Humanitarian Award. I want to make you happy, so I would like to share with you, I brought a shirtless photo of Chris Hemsworth to share. During an NBA game, Snoop Dogg was in the crowd, and he seemed to be very happy that his team was winning. When Cardi B was in the audience at an NBA All-Star game, they decided to play one of her songs during a break, and apparently she really enjoys her music. Even though most of the audience didn't seem amazed at Demi Lovato's performance, Taylor Swift was having a blast. 